Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, channel likes Try Anything, so you don't have to. Today's video, we're going to be looking at a Casio watch from the early 90s, approximately 1992, with this one being the Casio AWX10 Twincept Analog Digital Watch. Yes, this is a watch with, which is also digital, which has a module number of 1350. This is one of the first Casios to be featured on the channel that has the Twincept technology built into it which we shall be discovering later on in the video. As is the norm with the We Try Anything channel we'll be looking around the Casio AW10 highlighting some of the materials used, the design of the watch and mentioning some of the sizes along the way. We will then go through some of the functions that this watch has to offer, pop it on our wrist and say it's like to wear. Unfortunately as it is a watch from the early 90s there will be no real affiliate links in the description box below but there will be instructions to this watch which will take you off to the Casio website if you wish to find out how to use this watch a little bit more. And there will be a tutorial on this watch coming very soon. Before I look closer at the watch featured here, this Casio AWX10 is an eBay purchase. For the main reason I like to give you an insight as to how these watches wear over time. And in the case of this watch, it's probably one of the cheapest ways to acquire one for yourself. It is in great condition for a watch that is it is nearly 30 years old and I'm glad to say that I finally I didn't have to do anything to it to improve its looks which was really nice. So with all that out of the way let's take a closer look at the AWX10 that we have featured here. First of all let's talk about the sizes that make up this very watch. Now the width of the case from left to right I've measured approximately 40 millimeters Look to look or top to bottom, it is 44 millimeters or just at thereabouts. Depth wise, you are looking at a slim 12 millimeters. Now, what makes up the case or this case what we have here is essentially the same type of materials you would expect from a Casio with a gray plastic that makes up the main part or the main outer part of the case and the lugs. You do also have what would be a gloss looking in inset here, which is the gloss looking black plastic inset, which has a, an amount of decals over it, which tell you what each of the, well, for one, what the watch does and what each of the buttons or each of the three pushes that you have featured here, uh, what they do. And as you can see, this watch also, also has what would be a flat acrylic crystal and um, now the, the thing with these uh, flat acrylic crystals is that they do tend to attract scratches as I do mention on quite a few watches I have featured on the channel and as you can see there is a little bit of scratching going on here now I haven't used poly watch at the minute on this watch because I just wanted to show you that these watches do scratch and from I mean if you consider that this watch is 30 years old I've got to say the person who owned this watch before me really did try and keep it out of harm's way but it does scratch so just bear that in mind if you are looking at something like this to wear on a daily basis. In a lug width and that's where the strap attaches to the pins uh, that attaches to the case of this watch you are looking at approximately 90 millimeters and talking of the straps they are made up of what would be a fabric I've kept this on because I didn't want to I didn't want to take it off because it is I don't know if this watch has been worn and um, it is like a nylon fabric strap with a what would be a leatherette here at the ends just to reinforce how it connects to the pins and it is quite thin really it's, it's probably one of the thinnest ones I've seen on the channel or I've, I've had in the collection really and it is quite thin and I don't think this watch has really been worn at all really there's no real uh, there's no real pull effect on the holes here if the watch has been worn tight on the wrist but I might be wrong there but I, it just seems a watch that hasn't been worn too much at all now it does have a leatherette strap retainer or strap stay as well as a nice satin metal pin and buckle and it's quite a big pin and buckle but the whole aesthetic of the watch I've got to say is really nice and I will be talking a little bit more about that dial very soon. Moving on to the back of the case what you can see is the usual stainless steel affair here obviously you've got your four Phillips styled screws here which allow you access to the battery and the module etc so if you're looking to change the battery they do tend to be quite easy on these type of watches and as you can see here it's the stainless steel back as i've mentioned water this watch is water resistant and 
I couldn't really find um, much information on this watch, but from what I can see here, from what um, Casio highlighted here, it is water resistant to 50 meters, which is a nice little touch to this watch. And obviously they do like to advertise it on certain parts of the watch as well. So the watch also features a quartz powered module, which unfortunately I'm unable to locate its accuracy. Onto the dial, this is where the magic happens on this watch. Currently what you can see, there are two black outlined hour and minute hands uh, adorning this watch and other than the outlined hour and minute markers going on here there's no real other complications like a date window or anything else to refer to but when i press this bottom button here that is what i would say is where the magic happens and the, the digital part of the display springs to life so i just press that and as you can see that's where you get your digital part of the watch or what would be known as the twin set so obviously it's got analog and digital built into this watch. The idea of Twincept is that you are getting the benefit of having both analog and digital, but not in the conventional way that you'd expect from an any digital watch where the digital display is built into the dial. But as you can see here with this Twincept watch, the actual LCD is laid over what would be the analog hands. So obviously the LCD is a clear screen to it and what that allows that to do is to give it that kind of floating look and floating feel. I mean, with this one, obviously, it's got the time here um, that you can see here. And if I press it again, you can see the date. So you can see other things featured on this digital display. But the beauty of having Twincept, as I say, with the time and uh, what would be the date and all that overlaid on the watch, is that it does allow for, you can turn that off and it does allow for a very clean, crisp, dial to it really now in the 90s i would say that is an epic feature to have and nowadays we have all sorts of smart watches happening within the market but i still think that it is a great way to feature a digital display that floats over the analog hands giving the watch a lot more functionality than it would have had with just the analog hands and you gotta agree with me that it does look great in how it looks through the modes which i shall talk about later but with the digital display aside, I do like the look of the analog dial. As for me, it does look quite LCD-ish in nature with the outlines on the hands and the arrow markers. The background colouring of the dial adds to my thinking that it does look LCD in nature. It really does. I mean, I don't know if you ever see what would be analog looking handed watches, which I'll show a little picture here. It's not far off. It does have that feel to it. And this does add to my thinking that I believe that Casio has nailed the overall look and feel of this watch where the look of the analog hands and digital display go hand in hand. Now the one thing to mention is that the setting of the hour and minute hands is separate to the digital time which is a little bit of a pain but as I would have loved to have the what would be the time marry up with the analog part of the watch but again you got to remember that it's 90s tech and to my understanding they wouldn't have synchronized them at the time now the final thing to mention about this dial on this watch is that there is no form of backlighting or luminescence which is a bit of a drawback when you consider the coloring of this watch and you being able to read the time from it in darkness or semi-darkness which as i say is a bit of a shame it would have probably benefited for a bit of electro luminescent background to this watch but again unfortunately it is not the case so while we're a bit focused on the floating digital display let me quickly talk about some of the modes of this watch first of all there is a digital time and date which is featured towards the bottom of the watch the time can also be featured in 12 and 24 hour format and the date can go all the way up to 2039. now this watch also features let's just quickly show you by pressing the moment button it also features what would be a stopwatch so if i just start and stop it there um, and it's got these interesting pie uh, graphic elements to it where you can see obviously it's measuring the hundreds of a second and it's measuring every tens of a second and i'm guessing it'll go it'll start measuring minutes as well there once you start getting past the minute markers really or past the timing or the elapsed time where it goes up to a minute and the measuring capacity is up to what would be 59 minutes and 99 hundredth of a second the measuring unit as i've probably mentioned is a hundredth of a second and as you can see with this animation it does present the information really well I'll just quickly stop it and then just reset it. Now this watch also features what would be a lap recall memory. And what that allows you to do, if I just quickly start and stop and do lap reset. Let's do a couple of them and then stop it. 
and then clear it. What it allows you to do is to see what laps that you've done every time you use the stopwatch. But you just need to remember that with this one, as you can see, it's showing me the laps that I have done on this watch. It will go up to 20 recorded laps, but every time you use the stopwatch, it will reset it. And if you do start to use the laps again, it will take a note of them laps and delete the previously recorded laps. Now this watch also features, as I go to it, it will feature a countdown timer. Now the countdown timer is measured in what would be units of a second and the time setting range is from one second up to 60 minutes. And this watch will beep 10 seconds before the timer is up. And as you can see there, the, the display on this watch, it really does <laughs> add to the kind of magic of having one of these twin sept digital watches or digital analog digital watches because th that display just floats over the analog hands, which is really nice. I mean, it does, in certain lights, it will start to disappear, or in other lights or other angles, you it sometimes is a little bit hard to read. But again, it's just a great little feature on this watch. So I'll just stop that, stop that there, and then just reset it. And then the final thing to talk about, this watch also features a, what would be a, alarm now it only has one alarm and once the alarm has been reached it will beep for 20 seconds at the preset alarm time and this watch also features what would be an hourly time signal so what that means it will beep on the hour every hour and the final thing is the hand setting mode now that what that allows you to do once you press the adjust button you can press i believe you press the bottom right hand button it'll allow you to set the hands on this watch because obviously there's no crown or anything like that to twist you have to set it by the pushers and that's it really, that's the modes in a nutshell. I mean, it does have one other mode, which is what's known as auto display mode, where the watch automatically changes the contents of its digital display every every couple of seconds or every couple of minutes. And you can't use the other function of the watch when this is activated, but if you want to just you watch the cycle through a few uh, screen changes, as in the uh, twin set part of the watch, then this watch can do that for you. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop it on my wrist and say what it's like to wear. Now on my six and a half, half inch wrist, I've got to say this watch is very comfortable to wear. The fabric does allow, uh, it does allow for this watch to be really comfortable on the wrist. Now the only thing I do find with the fabric is, I mean obviously this, I believe that this would be the original strap that comes with us. My only worry is that it just feels, I think obviously with it being 30 years old, it does feel like just that, like I don't want to, pressure it too much because I don't want to snap this uh, band and I'm sure it won't but it does it just feels that way so I've got it a touch loose on here I mean if I do go to that hole there it'll be a bit too tight but if I go there it's just a just a touch loose but not too loose for it to uh, downgrade the enjoyment of me wearing it but it, it is just either a little bit too tight or a little bit too loose but then that is just for my six and a half inch wrist now what I will say regarding this strap as well it's probably not the longest of straps because as I say I'm only six and a half inch wrist uh, a six and a half inch wristed person some of the people who have larger wrists may find that the amount of holes that are left within this strap might not be ideal for them now as you can see i've kept the little twin set part on there because i just don't want to take it off here because obviously this is a watch of some age and i want to try and keep the original parts of it so i hope you can appreciate that but again on the wrist there's absolutely no form of inhibition with moving my hand or anything like that it is it is with it being about 40 millimeters and with it is a very easy watch to wear without it without, without it being known to be worn and again there's not much weight to it and i'm just popping the, the weight at the bottom of the screen just to say how heavy it is there's no real weight to this watch so it's one of them watches that you do feel that you're not wearing them really which is a nice touch really but what i do like is obviously that that display going on there and obviously once to start cycling through the modes it just it's just a brilliant thing to have and obviously with it floating over uh, what would be the analog hands it's just a really nice touch from casio to have that you can have both the digital functionality of this watch but but it not mar the look of the dial which is very simple very monochrome and as i say as i said earlier in the video quite lcd ish now with it being a 12 millimeter thick watch again i would imagine if you put a hoodie over it any long sleeved shirts or t-shirts or anything like that then it, they wouldn't inhibit the movement of the cuffs or anything and 
I've got to say, I, I mean, I can't see it being worn probably when you're out and about at a formal occasion. But again, because it's a watch that is slightly different from the norm, that it, some people may do that just to catch the attention of other people and get asked about how this watch, what this watch is like. And I've got to say, it is a very nice watch to look at. I mean, obviously, it's not like a like a metal framed watch where it's a bit more upmarket, but it is a watch that's very simple in its look, but is very original in the way it presents the information on that screen. And the other thing to mention that, as I, as I probably said earlier in the video, if you do have the uh, the watch at a slightly acute angle, you will probably find it hard to read what would be the digital time or, or any kind of digital information, but you do have the analog hands. And while I'm, while I'm on that fact, if the analog hands are pointing towards what would be the digital area where you may have the digital time or the data or anything, it may, it can prove to be a little bit difficult to read. You, you've got to kind of second glance it, but again, that's only a very small gripe and a very nice watch. And as I say, I do like the overall look of the watch and it is quite muted. And I do believe that the hands marry really well to the look and feel of this LCD digital display. Now, my final thoughts on this watch, it is a great witch retro watch. And that is retro simply based on its 32 years of age. It looks good, it wears well, and while it's from the 90s, it doesn't have that 90s feel that you would get from other watches and technology of that period. I love the twin set display, and I believe that if you can get the chance to add one of these watches to your collection, then do so, as I can only see these watches going up in value. I hope you like the review of the what would be the Casio AWX10. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, it always helps the channel. If you want to see more videos from the We Try Anything channel, click on the subscription button below. And thank you for watching this video, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.